Assalamu alaikum. Good evening from beautiful Baghdad. Tonight I'm very, very excited because I'm taking you guys to eat some of the best street food in Baghdad, including the best falafel. And we're starting off right now at the Storytelling Monument. That is part of the Arabian Nights. If you guys don't know about the Arabian Nights, my friend Jafar, tell me. Arabian Nights is a collection of stories from the uh, golden age of Islam. Uh, it's a collection of tales to be specific. It includes some th things like Aladdin and his la magic lamp, as well as um, hundreds of stories, such as Kahramana and many others. Amazing. Yes. Well, I'm excited to learn more about Arabian Nights and eat lots of food. Let's go. Jafar, hey, send him back in his lamp. Yes. <laughs> Let's rock and roll. Let's go. I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, guys, we are here on Carada Street. Look at this, super lively street. So many things happening here. You got shops, you have restaurants, you have butchers. Look at this, the butchers. What? The glam right here. Incredible. All right, this way? That way? All right, let's cross. All right, let's go, let's go. We're going to the king of dates right here. The entire shop is all dates, right? All this project. All right, Ali, let's go inside. Salam alaikum. Salam. It's okay? Salam. 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 Salam alaikum. Salam. Amazing. Hello, hello. How are you? So, King of Dates, what they do actually, they produce everything related to dates. They make sweets from dates. They make. Uh, honey syrup of the date, date syrup. They do everything related to dates and make it like, see, like souvenirs. You can buy souvenirs, a good souvenirs from uh, Iraqi dates to people. And they really care, they have farms. As uh, Mr. Haydar, he is the owner of the shop and he explained this to me every time. So, yeah, welcome. He said, like, I will uh, make you test something you never had. Never had. She's just letting me chase. Yeah, 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 you choose, you choose. I choose? Free food again. Free food? <laughs> right, okay, so let me see. You said uh, whichever one I want. I mean, the sesame one looks amazing. I'm gonna take a sesame ball. If I can. How do I get in here? Mmm. Oh, oh. <laughs> so sweet. Mm. Almost like chocolate. Mm hmm. Mmm. This is also not only like a sweet, but also useful. It has vitamin. Yeah, yeah. No, it's nice and thick. This is really good, thick. Like I can tell, like just from this bite, I'm getting like a lot of energy out of this, yeah. you know. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try dates with coconut. It's a date ball. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so good. So good. So good. Mmm. Nice and dense, sweet, and the coconut on top, perfect. Yummy. No, 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 what do you say? Mm. I'm so good, man. I think I'll get a job in this place. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this gentleman is too generous. He's literally filling up an entire bag with gifts for us. Yeah, you sure? Well, let, let me pay. I need to pay for something here, so let me let me take one of these amazing honey. honeys. Yeah, yeah. I'll take I'll take honey bee, bee honey, which is bee honey. He's not letting me pay. He's not letting me pay. What's happening here? I mean, it all looks great. So let me pay for something. Is that 100% bee? That's bee 100%. Look right here. If it's not bee honey and it's not 100% natural, do not drink it. This is like my energy for life. Let, let me pay. Let me pay for this. He said, okay, you take the dates, but you will pay for the honey. Perfect. Okay. Okay, but he said, this is not the good one? This is not the good one? You're the better one. You're the better one. Only the better one. Too many honey. Honey, honey. I'm the honey. Rocky honey. You know, I drink this. Ah, it's a mix, like special. Uh, wow. Look at how the air bubble just goes through. That means it's a little more liquidy. It's not too, too thick, right? It's not too sugary. No. Exactly. Yeah. So if they add a lot of sugar, you know it's, it's not good be stuff. Heavy. Yeah, it'd be heavy and it's not good. This is perfect. Okay, my friend. Okay. okay. Shukran. Thanks. Shukran Habibi. Salam. 
too nice, too nice. Okay, let me pay for this one. I'll put this in here, and we'll pay for it. It's too kind. Well, luckily I brought an extra bag on this trip. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Shukran, shukran. You guys are too kind. Shukran, shukran, Habibi. Alarasi, alarasi. Wahilla. Hey, shukran, shukran, Habibi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. You too, you too, my friend. Shukran, shukran. Three generations here. Grandfather, father, and the son is over here. Sien. Sien? Sien. Hussein, Hussein is awesome. Hussein, amazing. Hey, shukran, shukran. Okay. This is a lot. There's a lot of stuff. Whoa! Let's go. Let's go, Ali. Let's rock and roll. So we're just walking up and down the street, seeing what we find. At the end, we have falafels, and here we have uh, coffee. Coffee? Yeah. Coffee shop. Come to see how they do coffee. They roast coffee. Where are we? Coffee shop. Assalamu alaikum. It's okay? Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, coffee. Arabic coffee. Iraqi coffee. Oh, wow. Wow. That smells insane. I'm a coffee lover, like, like you. It's like paradise for me, right here. This is paradise. Wow. This is, this is a rustic, beautiful coffee shop. Unfortunately, this is not working right now, but the coffee smells so good. It's, uh, it's like almost 9 p.m. at night, so I'm not having coffee. Let's keep going. Hey, Chokran, Habibi. Chokran, Chokran. Ali, what is that over there? Samoon place. Samoon? Samoon, it's a kind of Iraqi bread. And they are making it through a stone oven. Stone oven? It's very special. And especially this shop, they sell it, this bakery shop, sell it fresh. See the queue of the people. What's the only that? So what is that? So this was Iraqi bread. We call it samoon. We eat it at almost all meals we have. This is basically uh, just yeast, water, and flour. Some people add yogurt as well. Some people do a lot of optional things, and also sesame. And as you ha as you have already seen, it's, it is cooked using stone furnaces, same ones that pizzas are cooked in. Yeah, I mean, it was a spectacle in there. I mean, it was non-stop. It was like almost like a conveyor belt in a way. Like the guy, one guy fills it up, all the dough on this like big wooden uh, tablet, right? Then a paddle, and then he gives it to the other guy. He puts some butter, some ghee, and he throws it into the oven, and then he pulls it out. It goes all the way into like some big, um, like some big basket. Then they sell it. That's it. Very easy. Right, let's continue. Oh, this is really nice, man. Look at this. What is this? It's so traditional. Assalamu alaikum, Habibi. Assalamu alaikum. This is really the best thing I've seen all day. Look at this. Old school coffee hut. It's open air. He has five different coffees here. Boiling. He has bitter coffee. He has sweet coffee. Obviously, he added cardamom. In the back, you can sit down, take your order, pour some coffee, some water, and that's it. I don't know how they're drinking coffee at night. I can't do that. I can only drink coffee in the morning. You know why? I mean, I can have it at night, but I want to sleep because we're going to wake up 6.30 or something. Dude, you know? we're sleeping like four hours a night. <laughs> you know why? <laughs> because we sleep at noon. When like, the oh, sun yeah, because you guys ate really siesta. Yeah. Right, right, right. siesta. I like a siesta. And what he said was that like, uh, most people, like it's normal to have coffee at night because people go out at night because it's cooler, right? Yeah, yeah of course. You can see the course. people uh, yeah, yeah. everywhere. A lot more people now. Yeah. Obviously, we were out during the midday, 47 degrees. Don't go out at that time. P piece of cake, piece of cake. <laughs> Yeah, look at my face. So Ali, what is this? Chips of Al Karada. Yeah, famous? Yes, very famous of this neighborhood in Baghdad. They make it here in this area. And you can see it how... Nice and crisp, huh? Crisp, yes. So it's slice of uh, potato and flavored with different flavors. For example, like chicken, ketchup, vinegar and salt. French cheese, barbecue, lemon, and pepper. Also with garlic. So, so what do you mean by that? They're gonna put it on a plate and add stuff? Or it's flavored? Yeah, flavors. Flavors? No, flavors, yes. Whoa, okay. Yeah. This small shop actually is the main provider for all chips oh, wow. in, in uh, Baghdad and maybe other cities in Iraq. So, so? we can ask the owner of the shop. I have to try some. Yeah. Let's you try some. 
the way it works here, you choose a bag. Small bag, massive bag, whatever you want, right? We're going with this one, the smallest. So, he's gonna open it up and he's gonna add any flavor we want. Tassos, what do you think, flavor-wise, what do you want? Like vinegar and salt and uh, barbecue. barbecue. Okay. Habibi, Shonek, Salam. Read how this is. Let's get it. Let's Barbecue, Usum. That's it? That's it. Shukran, Habibi. Shukran. No, test time. Okay, Tassos, okay. you ready? I'm ready, man. Let's All right, let's go, let's go. Let's go. So three different flavors here? Cheers. I don't remember all the flavors. Let's go. Mmm. It's really good. Salt, vinegar, barbecue. What else? Garlic. Uh, garlic. Mm -hmm. You can taste the garlic. Oh, wow. Wow. So crunchy. Kulistayid. Kulistayid. Very delicious. Wow. So, one thing I gotta say, this is like the perfect bar food, right? Yeah, definitely. Wow. Too much. I've never had like chips with this many, this many flavors. You know, normally it's like salt, oregano. Mm -hmm. This is like a mix of flavors. This is delicious. Yeah. Whoa. I've never had this before. Where is this city? It's so big. Where is city? So, I'm from my, uh, uh, Florida. Miami. Florida, mm -hmm. Miami. You want to try? Very nice. Thank you. Too much? Thank you. What's your no, name? Oh, I'm like behind the pole here. <laughs> <laughs> What's your uh, name? It's me, David. 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 Hey, welcome. Hey, chocolate, chocolate. My name is Ali. Ali? Pleasure, hey, Ali. Welcome. Pleasure. Chocolate, chocolate. Hey, welcome. So kind, so kind. Hello, Hello. Well. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. So good. Mm. Kolistaib. Chokran, chokran. Too good. My friends, who's hungry? Take the whole bag, bro. This is a lot of food. I want falafel. Before falafel? Mm. Oh, I feel a little tingle, huh? That vinegar. And also after falafel. You mm. can have it every time. Every like time. Snack, you know, like snack. Oh, smells good. Okay. Hey. Hey. He said, I say English and you say in Arabic. Alright, so go. Okay, here we go. Falafel. Salam alaikum. Hey, Chukran Habibi. Falafel. Alright, let's go eat. Ready? Where'd they go? Oh, they're here. I love falafel. It's, it's crazy because they did it so fast. Wow, huh? yeah. Okay, here we go. The best falafel in Baghdad. Yes, <laughs> Rocky falafel. <laughs> All right, so do we have a sauce here? Do we put this in? Yes, it's also amba. Amba. Okay, so straight up just like drip throughout. Oh, nice and fresh, guys. Look, they gave it to us in a brand new container. Uh, amba is the best. Pickled mango. Let's go. Big bite here. Cheers. Oh yeah. Love, love falafel. And this one's chickpeas, right? Pure chickpeas. Mm-hmm. So inside, we have pickles. Mmm. For a salad, we have the amba, and then we also have the falafel, and nice bread. And don't worry, dude, we get messy. Let's get messy. Really getting messy. Here's the thing about Iraqi amba. They, 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 they soak it with amba so much that it's gonna drip out of everywhere out of the summer. It's very nice. This is just potatoes. Mine is like full. <laughs> like fully loaded, man. I'm gonna destroy this. So good, love it. Mm. Wow, that was worth the wait. Mm -hmm. And what I love is that they're small falafels. Sometimes you get them huge, sometimes you get them smaller. This is like little, little bite size, right? This is the Samuel falafel in Baghdad, in Iraq in general. 
It contains a salad, falafel, potato, french fries, and most importantly, either amba or sauce, the, the uh, date sauce. It's like the go-to things in Baghdad. I love it. Wow, I need a break. I'm, not, I'm full, I'm full, guys. And that was our night here in Alcalada Street. What an incredible experience. Started off at King of Dates. We walked down, we saw bread, we saw like a lot of vendors, right? Coffee, we saw people selling shoes, clothing, and we ended up right here with the best falafel. Yes. And what's the name of this place? Falah Abu Amba. Falah Abu Amba. Yes. So, so falafel and Amba, right? But you know what? I guess I have to. For good riddance, right? Yes. I'll regret this in the morning, right? Have <laughs> I with you? Let me try. I'm, I'm actually so tired, but I want, I, I'm so full and I so want to eat it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up, comment below. I'll see you next time here in Iraq. Let's go.